Have you ever checked out the case that the SEC has been trying to mount against Ripple? It's flimsy at best. I mean, if you didn't even know a shred of law, you will easily agree with me that the SEC have nothing against Ripple. They're just trying to find ways to hide their flaws and also protect their self-interests. To be honest, the SEC isn't even trying to protect the investors. They've lied to the court more than once, committed perjury, and even tampered with evidence. I don't know about you, but this is the worst case I've ever witnessed in history particularly because the real crime is being committed out in the open and no one is doing anything about it. Guys, it is time for the festivities to begin. Somebody's going to be celebrating. Don't forget to join in the giveaway. We will be giving away $2,000 worth of XRP directly to your wallet as a thank you for helping us grow. You can check out all the details in the comment section below for the requirements. The winner will be announced February 1st right here on Moneyside. So buckle up. Hello guys, welcome to Moneyside, your favorite crypto news channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you get updates when we drop new videos. And to my loyal Moneyside gang, welcome back. And more importantly, if you're feeling generous, smash that like button and leave a comment in the section down below if you find this informative. First order of business, we start with a tweet from Stefan W. Huber who comments, Remember when the SEC claimed in May that there was no need to provide the staff's internal views on Ethereum and Bitcoin because they had made enough public statements about them? And then in August, they claimed that those public statements were just personal opinions? Face with tears of joy. Insanity! Like I told you guys earlier, the SEC is just playing games with everyone at this point. Without a doubt, this tweet shows you that the settlement is right around the corner. With all honesty, the SEC actually thought they could get away with such a poorly drafted lawsuit with the idea that Ripple doesn't have a strong legal team. Well, Ripple has been able to uncover a lot through this current lawsuit. As a matter of fact, this court case shows the dirty linen of the SEC and the fact that they would do anything just to cover their shortcomings. The best thing about this is that the XRP team picks up on the smallest hints of facts that the SEC throws under the bus. And on top of that, the court will also pick up on those hints because the SEC seems to be digging their grave deeper and deeper by the day. It appears the SEC will soon get caught in their web of lies. In the document shared by Stefan, the SEC tries to maneuver through its own lies. Back in 2018, the SEC knew about Hinman's statement, and they clearly stated that Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities. But now, they later come up to the court saying that they did not give Ethereum and Bitcoin a pass, which is outright crazy. They clearly changed their statements and are trying to lie about what happened. Why are they lying? The SEC knows that this statement will hurt them because that means Ripple will be in the clear. The fact that the SEC would go to these extents to hide their statements shows that they are power hungry and are trying as much as possible to hide their tracks. The court will soon get wind of this info and the SEC will have no choice but to settle. From the start, it just so seems that this regulatory body has always had a hidden agenda. That's why the court case has been dragging on for too long. Frankly speaking, I think the SEC should compensate Ripple for all the harm they've done to the crypto company. I mean, just minutes after filing their lawsuit, XRP went tumbling down and the price of this coin has never fully recovered since then. This coin was ranked in third place behind Ethereum and Bitcoin. It sounds like a coincidence, but I think not. The SEC seems to be picking out winners and losers in the crypto space, and that is why, even before this lawsuit was filed, Ethereum and Bitcoin got a free pass. I really don't think that that's a simple coincidence. There's a high probability that the SEC has some interest in these two cryptos, or chances are Ethereum has the SEC in its back pocket. And if that's the case, the SEC will stop at nothing to protect Ethereum from other cryptos. But Ripple is still a powerful company. The RippleNet has been adopted by several banks around the world, which makes it a highly valued asset in the crypto world. We've said this time and time again, the SEC isn't trying to protect investors, but their own selfish interests. Sooner or later, the SEC will be caught by the court and possibly Congress. In recent times, the XRP Army has been trying to reach out to their congressional representatives to come and intervene because this court case has turned out to be the Wild West. Interestingly enough, we still don't have crypto regulations that govern the laws within the crypto space. That means, in a literal sense, the SEC is just operating in speculations and ideas that don't really pan out to anything. On the other hand, Ripple has been doing everything to ensure that they have the best tech in the business. 
from the video I just posted yesterday. XRP is ISO 20022 compatible. That's the latest bank messaging system that will soon be adopted by all banks that use SWIFT. And when that happens, these banks will be able to use crypto into their systems, but only cryptos that are ISO 20022 compatible. XRP is one of them. So what do you think will happen in the next few months? XRP will go straight to the moon, even if this court case doesn't end. And if it does, XRP will moon almost instantly overnight. We will be witnessing the greatest crypto bullish trend of all time when this court case ends. That said, time now to take a look at the technical analysis. Beginning with XRP, the 200-day average shows that we are at a low point, shown by the white arrows and the thick white lines. We are also approaching the bottom of the triangle circa 75 cents. Uh, Fibonacci shows that the 72 to 74 cent level is the 786 retracement on the longer term trend line, which has not yet fulfilled the $1.90 targets removed from this chart to make it cleaner. If we see a breakdown, it should hold around the 60 cent level as shown by the red line, the eight year bull line, by the way. The white box is the place to watch for any reversal patterns before putting in a buy. Now turning to Bitcoin, we have finally gotten the break of demand for the continuation of the sale. We are heading to my desired area to buy back in on Bitcoin, on leveraged buys and to buy physically and hold on for dear life. Currently, 7,300 plus pips in profit with this sell. Keep holding for now, but get ready to close those sales and take a profit as I will be looking for the buyer if we reach the trend line. As always, do your own research and please trade safely, friends. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation. As always, we thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and click on that subscribe button below. Then be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Thanks again, and we will see you on the next Money Side.